what's going on YouTube in today's video I'm gonna be dropping fielding tips basically how I forced myself to get better at fielding in the game when I was new to MLB the show I struggled with fielding I struggled with the meter it was like difficult for me to get at first and I understand how it can be difficult for someone that's new to the show so for anyone that needs this help I got you so we're gonna go to our settings we're gonna go to gameplay settings and we're gonna go to fielding right gonna have our throwing interface on button accuracy this is gonna bring up we're gonna have on button accuracy we're gonna have road to the show throwing interface on button accuracy then we're gonna have our throwing meter on right this is gonna give us that meter so that every time we're fielding we're, we're getting in that little green window we're getting in the habit you know and and when it comes to throwing people out at home when you have that extra little window that you have to worry about it just forces you to build that muscle memory so when those situations happen you can make those plays happen when you need to building decision we're having on assist throwing decision on in in play view def defense we i play on medium personally uh some people play on high i think medium or high is the better ones to go with you want to see a lot of the field so you can time things the best you can medium i feel like i can time all the dives very easy with so if that helps you out let me know by dropping a like throw canceling on uh leave that off uh, jump reaction leave it on on sometimes this helps so catch position indicator drifting ball some people have the so track ball is the one with the line and then drifting ball is the one that you see in all my videos I have my defensive shift on manual I recommend manual I just think that playing to the shift it just it doesn't always work man and, and it'll help you grow your complete pitching kind of repertoire forcing yourself to play on manual it'll just help you in situations where you need it if you made it to this point in the video then i assume that either you have a road to the show or start a new road to the show uh one of the things i say in all my videos is to definitely go to the vaults go to roster and search rtts That'll give you a bunch of rosters to choose from for like road to the show grind. If you download it, you'll notice like one says Philly, Detroit. So it basically tells you what team to choose when you go in there. I personally already have one with the Yankees. So I'm already, uh, I already have it all loaded up. So I'm going to load in to that specific one. You're basically going to make a road to the show and you're going to tell your agent that you want to play for the specific team that you chose for that roster. Now that you have all your fielding settings going, good We're to go, you're gonna go ahead and can grind up your player. Like you can grind up your creative player. If you need help grinding up your creative player, if you need any information on that, I have a bunch of videos on my channel and I will leave descriptions. I will leave links in the description of all my videos for pitching creative players for hitting creative players that'll all be in there once you get into your road to the show game you want to go to your road to the show options i personally don't play with showtime opportunities because in diamond dynasty it's just never going to happen you're never going to get a showtime opportunity so i don't really care for it personally you can play with it on if you want player lock infield reaction assist the so player lock fielding opportunities i have it on, on all player lock base running opportunities i personally i would recommend to turn it off and then player lock cpu just leave it on all then you'll play like normal An absolute moonshot. Wow. <laughs> Got two outs, so we're going to first. And you just time it up right there while pointing the stick to first base. And that that just gets you in the groove of getting that timing window. Look at this. We've got another opportunity. Nobody on with 3-2 count. Time it up. Make sure we throw it at first. Good to go. And once you practice that over time and you build that muscle memory, you'll be good to go with your fielding and you'll be an all around better fielder in MLB The Show moving forward. Find this video helpful? Let me know in the comment section. And if you could, drop a like for me. Drop a sub if you haven't already. And I will catch you boys in the next one. Peace.